Shaka Brule Shaka Brala Shaka Naba Le Shaka Naba Good evening viewers, good evening lovely followers Tonight is another night I welcome all of you Denida, Shaneta, Henrita, Kimberly, Ren Ellis God bless you. Those I can see them. God bless you. Tonight is another night. Happy Kaiser Power Hour, episode nine. Tonight we are coming to deal with dreams and visions, interpretations of dreams and visions. So get prepared. Any dream that you had yesterday, any dream that you had some time ago, and you never get the answer. You never know. We are here the, with the direction of the Holy Spirit to lead us to know the meaning of the dream so stay tuned okay please as you stay tuned can you like and share invite friends to join as well okay god bless you shaka broli shoko no broli karaba re shaka brana shaka naraba ninja karaba re shaka naraba zoko no broli re shake the mercy karaba le karaba re shake karaba zaka naraba re kubro Rasha Karada Bazi Karaba Le Karaba Risha Karada Bazi Karaba Le Karaba Holy Spirit Halloween Holy Spirit Halloween Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Risha Karaba mm. Oh my soul mm. Risha Karada Bazi Karaba Le Karaba Le Karaba Le Karaba Risha Karada Bazi Holy Spirit Halloween Holy Spirit Halloween Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Reka Brulu, Zika, and Rebbe, Zika, and Rebbe. Rasha, Kadada, Banzo, Kurubu, Lisa, and Rebbe. Risha, Kadada, Zika, and Rebbe. Reka Brulu, Zika, and Rebbe. Rasha, Kadada, Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus. We shaka holy so for the holy caravan. Rasha caravan, so for the holy caravan. Rasha caravan, so for the bed. Roku the woods, they got a bed, they got a bed. Rasha caravan, so for the bed. Roku broodings are caravan, they got a bed. Rasha caravan, Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We shaka holy shakaravan. Father, we bless your name, we bless your name, we bless your name. We shook the devil, the devil, the devil, Rasha, the devil, the devil, Rasha, the devil, the devil. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Rasha, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil, the devil. Rasha, the devil, 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 the devil. Lay Sakaraba, Lay Sakaraba, Holy Spirit, have your way, Holy Spirit, have your way, in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, I welcome all of you. Once again, my name is Apostle Emmanuel Okain from Ghana, Cronkins Ministries. Please, I encourage you to like and share, and I welcome all of you here tonight. Tonight. 
Tonight is all about visions and dreams, interpretations of visions and dreams. So please get ready for your comment. Kindly remember your, your dreams that you had some time ago. And I believe that by the end of this event, this program, you understand your dream and how your dream reflect in your life. Hallelujah. So without no wasting my time, let's pray. Father, we thank you, we bless you. Indeed, we say you are God. There's no other God like you, Father. We come before you, Lord, for interpret our dreams to us tonight. Show us dreams and visions. Give us meaning of it. And through the Holy Spirit, by the end, we say we thank you, God. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you once again. God bless you once again. God bless you once again. Welcome, Debbie Campbell. Welcome. God bless you for watching. Um, McVay, God bless you. Those that I can see, God bless you. Welcome to ninth Epicaiso Power Hour. Power of dreams and visions. Amen. 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 Okay, tonight it's all about dreams and visions. The power of your dream and your visions and we have to understand that without dreams and without visions there's nothing that we do we do it accurately hallelujah and we have to understand that god respect visions and dreams he the lord himself revealed himself to us through dreams and visions and for the future and for a purpose hallelujah yes and power of dreams and visions before we get deep and deep and deep and dive into the meanings and dreams and the interpretation of dreams i would like to ask you what are dreams what are dreams what are dreams Lisa Joseph from Trinidad and Tobago. God bless you for watching. What are dreams? Welcome to the program with the title Power of Dreams and Visions. What are dreams? Dreams is a series of thoughts, images, or emotions occurring during sleep, right? And there are very normal people who nightly have images or ideas in the mind while asleep dream to dream dreaming to have a dream is as normal as breathing a sleep specialist will tell you that every person dreams every night yet not every person will remember or will recall the dream that they receive do you get me so to dream every night is quite normal and quite regular sometimes it is not only night but even when you go to sleep at in the afternoon or to have a, a siesta or to have a nap you sometimes have a dream and every person have a dream if you are if you are there as a normal human being and for the past three months for the past six months for the past two months two weeks you've not had a dream then knows that your life is in danger Praise the Lord. Then know that your life is in danger. In fact, 
dreams are very healthy for every individual dreams are very very healthy for every individual a test have been conducted to see what happened when people are prevented from dreaming and the test was like when when you can't dream meaning that you don't have a goal in life also what are visions what are visions a vision is something seen otherwise than by natural sight a vision is something seen otherwise than by natural sight that is the prophetic sight so vision or visions are basically the same as dreams except that dreams happen whilst a person is in a state of sleep and vision will happen whilst the person is fully awake take this where Cameron Ellis a, 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 um, visions are basically the same as dreams except that dreams happen whilst a person is in a state of sleep and vision while happening a vision will happen whilst the person is fully awake so the reason that dreams and visions are prophetic is because they are to do with the visual and seeing aspect of what God is saying so we see our dreams we see our visions believers the moment you join can you like and share and bring your comment as well you can type a dream that you've had and a vision that you've had for interpretation and the holy spirit is ready to help us first we need to classify clarify the differences between visions and dreams and a vision occurs when a person is awake and alert a dream occurs when a person is asleep the bible says that peter was awake for his vision of the unclean food if you read Acts chapter 10 9 to 23 john was awake for his vision recorded in revelation however pharaoh's cup bearer and baka were asleep when he, when they had dreams that joseph interpreted also joseph in a mary's fiance was asleep when an angel spoke to him in a dream so something almost every dream is significant and they need to know the interpretation dreams and visions are important for many of us some feel almost every dream is significant and they need to know the interpretation of these dreams some claim to receive messages from their ancestors through dreams perhaps they consult mediums or pastors whom they believe have the gift of interpretation certain dreams have traditional patterns for interpretations while others do not so in some cases the dreamer will remember the dream until something happens to which he or she will attribute to the dream as you listen to me tonight i want to tell you that there are three types of dream in the bible based on biblical teachings 
dreams can be classified in three categories. We have the subconscious processing. The subconscious processing, first, some dreams are a result of what has been on a person's mind or stored in the subconscious. These can be memories, past events, repressed desires, and unfulfilled hopes. In Isaiah says that in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 8, says that a hungry person dreams of eating, but what wakes up still hungry? And Solomon writes. Too much activity gives you restless dreams. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 3. And number two, the one type of dream is spiritual attacks. Spiritual attacks. Some dreams may be false messages from our spiritual enemies. You can read your Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 13, verse 1 to 5. And Jude. One eight. So, through Jeremiah, God said this about the smooth tongue, that is the false prophet. The imagery dream are flagrant lies that lead my people into sin. I did not send or appoint them, and they have no message at all. For my people if you read jeremiah chapter 23 verse 33 and another type of dream is that the vital messages or important messages that is the third type god sometimes gives special dreams such as the two pharaoh received in um, genesis chapter 41 you see, those experienced by Joseph and Solomon also had a dream in 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 5, after he made a sacrifice. The book Kadnezah also had a dream and Daniel interpreted it, interpreted it to him. Daniel chapter 2, verse 28. And the dreams that accompanied the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah? So these dreams give important messages that God's servant need to understand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe you can hear me clearly. Let me see a comment if you can hear me. You can hear my voice clearly. Okay. Dreams. Are all dreams come from God? Are all dreams come from God? Yes. Most of our dreams come from God, but sometimes the devil also will find his way for you to have a dream. It is not the devil that has made you dream. It is God that has made you dream to know the plans and the schemes of the devil. Do you understand? So dreams are also called God's secret weapon or the sleep language of God. The sleep language of God. As created beings, we are created in the image of God. God had a dream of what he wanted the heavens and the earth to look like. He then proceeded to create them according to that dream. Praise the Lord. So God also have a dream. Now, if you read the Bible, in Numbers chapter 12, the Bible says that, now the man Moses was a quite humble man, more than anyone living on earth. God broke suddenly on Moses and Aaron and Mira, saying, Come out, you three, to the tent of the meeting. The three went out, 
God descended in the pillar of a cloud and stood at the entrance to the tent. He called Aaron and Miriam to him. When they stepped out, he said, Listen carefully of what I am telling you. If there is a prophet of God among you, listen, I make myself known to him in visions. In visions. I speak to him in dreams. But I don't do it that way with my servant Moses. He has the he, he has the run of my entire house. I speak to him intimately in person in plain talk without riddles. I he ponders the very form form of God. So why did you show no reverence and respect in speaking against my servant against Moses? So God is trying to tell us that he speaks to us through visions. He speaks to us through dreams. Do you understand? Not all prophet, but even sometimes it comes in person or in plain talk without riddle. He don't give any poem messages or any poetry messages or riddles. He speaks to Moses straightforward. So if you understand that dreams and visions are from God, can I ask you a question? What dream have you had? There are people they have dreamt a lot. They've had visions a lot, but they don't understand. I'm here to help you under the influence of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Sometimes your dreams comes true immediately after you wake up. And dreams are messages from God. Whereby when you wake up from sleep, the first thing to do is that pray about the dream. Sometimes you, you'll be having a nightmare whilst you are asleep. When, when you are awake, pray about it. Pray against what you, you saw in the dreams. I quite remember a lady called me at midnight and she said she had a dream that dogs were chasing her and immediately she started flying she, she ran away and she started flying in the sky and when she landed again the dog was able to bite her and lo and behold when she woke up from sleep she saw the mark of the bite of the dog in dreams so spiritually means that dogs in dreams that chases us are witches and wizards are blood testers that want to devour us that want to kill us that want to suck our blood that want to i mean eat our flesh so when you have that dream you need to pray fast and pray over it there are some people they dream that they, they, they have seen a, 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 a cobra with two heads. It's time, it's, it's, it, it, it has two meanings. Meaning that you are confused in life. If you have a dream that you see a cobra with two heads, meaning that you are confused in life. You don't know the right way where to go. And, 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 and the wrong way to avoid. And sometimes too, this cobra are demons that comes from the marine kingdom and they want you to to i mean to have to use you to oppress something into their kingdom this evening those who are watching me what kind of dream have you had bring it let me see it at the comment section my my, my comment section is so empty let me see the dream that you had in the comment section Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, in many in many of the ways, God speaks to his people today. He uses dreams and visions as the acceptable word media. Dreams allow us to see things as they really are, not as they appear to be. And the, the, the word dream in Hebrew in Hebrew word or in Hebrew means bind strongly 
or family dream means bind strongly and family so a dream from god will become bound up in the heart of the person receiving the dream so dream from god are usually very spiritual experiences that are not easily forgetting they almost become a part of the heart and the mind of the person receiving the dream there are over 135 references to dreams and dreamers in the bible if dreams were not so important to god god wouldn't would not spend so much of his word telling us who dreamed why they had dreams and what he was saying to them in the dreams and what he did as a result of those dreams dreams are evidence of the movement of the holy spirit believer you understand why is it so because as we read scriptures eh, we have to understand that god the holy spirit was speaking and doing something we read that god was communicating something to the people in the environment of where the dream were taking place do you understand we have dreamers in the bible like abimelech in genesis chapter 20 verse 3 as the bible says that indeed you are a dead man the woman you have taken is another man's wife god was letting abimelech know that sarah was not available when abraham lied to him about her being his sister god sought to protect abimelech you understand jacob also had a dream mm? you understand laban also had a dream genesis chapter 31 verse 34 our old joseph also we know genesis chapter 37 verse 5 i'll speak to that i'll speak on that very well you see god spoke to pharaoh in dreams to tell of the seven years of plenty and the seven years of famine that were to come in, in genesis chapter 41 and solomon first king chapter 3 verse 5 god was asking solomon what it was that he wanted god was testing solomon's heart so people have, have dream and there are a lot of dreamers in the bible and you see clearly god does not need to speak to us in dreams never think that god will speak to us in dreams and can use many forms of media to do so the most obvious form that being his word however god has chosen to reveal his will and his character to us through speaking to people in dreams that certain people were either prophet or had prophetic anointing upon their lives as the people of god we are not to be afraid of the fact that god may wish to speak to us on a regular basis through dreams and visions we can safely embrace dreams and visions believing by the faith that god is desirous to reveal exciting things of the spirit to us so we obviously need to discern whether the dream is from god or the result of our mind having a nightly sought out if we keep in step and on the same frequency as the holy spirit we can discern the interpretation of our dream quietly readily. Believers, dreams has a purpose. The purpose of dreams is very, very, very important. Do you understand? We can accept that God chooses to speak in dreams and visions 
we can see this as a reason why when we are awake we filter all revelation through our human experience dreams will bypass our experience of what we think we know and what we have learned but god chooses us or god chooses to use this media of revelation to cut true agendas of the heart that can cause us or that can cause us to miss out on the valuable things that the holy spirit want to communicate to us so if you check the book of job tells us in job chapter 33 verse 8 verse 14 to 18 the Bible says that for God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when this sleep falls upon men, wise lumbering on their beds, he then he opens the ears of men. He opens the ears of men and seal their instructions in order to turn man from his deed and conceal pride from man he gives back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword this verse wow this verse clearly tells us that god speaks to keep a man from being destroyed by his own pride and sin the mercy of god will be upon a man's life because of dreams wow so sometimes god will use dream to show us the content of our whole heart because in jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 the bible says that the heart of a man is full of deceit above all things and desperately wicked who can know it you see so god may choose to 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 use dream or a series of dreams to reveal weakness in our lives that he wants us to address he may choose to use them to cause us to assess honestly the content of our own heart if we choose to listen to god through our dream i do believe that many of us may be spared many a heartache believers so in isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 here god tells us that his ways and thought differ immensely from our ways and our thought through dreams god can cause us to bring our thinking and behavior into line with his own now revealing dreams to his prophet or revealing of his prophet the bible says that in numbers chapter 12 verse 6 if there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. In a vision. So God uses dreams to reveal who his prophets are. So that when the man or a woman of God says that they have received a dream or a vision, then they will know they are a prophet of the lord and those around will also know so let me ask does that mean that if we have a dream from god then we are prophets no no if you have dream from god doesn't mean that then you are prophet no what does it mean is that a prophet will be recognized among us because he or they hear from God in dreams 
and visions. Hallelujah. Believers, my name is Father Emmanuel Okan, or you can call me Apostle Emmanuel Okan from Ghana, Kronikis Ministries. Welcome to the program, Epikaizo Power Hour. We are on the episode 9 with the title or with the theme, Power of Dreams and Visions. Listen, if you read the Bible, all the major and the minor prophets, we see that they open the book and they are altered with an introduction about themselves or an introduction is written about them that relate to the prophet either seeing a vision or hearing the word of, or of the Lord so if we are still in any doubt as to the nature of dreams and that God has chosen to use this medium to speak to us one need only read the book of Isaiah Isaiah if you read the book of Isaiah, Isaiah was clearly an anointed prophet of God. He received anointed visions and heard the ways of the Lord. His vision speaks of the anointed one to come and his ministry. His vision spoke of the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. So dreams and visions are what are seen in the spirit realm where the invisible is made visible and the impossible becomes possible hallelujah so god also uses dreams to number one god also uses dreams to one to restrain evil to restrain evil God also uses dreams to reveal his will, to reveal his own will. God also uses dreams to encourage us. God also uses dreams to reveal the future, to instruct us, to warn us. God will use dreams to reveal to the dreamer things of the spirit that will not be seen by the natural eyes now if you are able to understand this someone also asks does unbelievers also dream dreams to unbelievers yes they also dream god can and does speak to unbelievers in dreams if you read Genesis chapter 20, verse 3 to 7, Abimelech received a warning dream that Sarah was not a woman that he was free to sleep with. You see, Abimelech don't know God. Genesis chapter 41, Abin's death, Pharaoh is not is is, is unbeliever. Nebuchadnezzar is an un unbeliever warning Nebuchadnezzar that he was to fall and lose his kingdom warning Pharaoh that seven years of plenty were coming followed by seven years of famine and Matthew chapter 27 verse 19 warning Pilate's wife that Jesus was not to be falsely accused do you get it? And that means that the unbelievers also receive dreams. And discerning origins of dream, if we dream every night, then how can we tell which dreams are from God and which dreams are the result of having a greasy meal before we go to bed? From just the man sorting out the day's activities firstly if we are keeping in step with the holy spirit and keeping the word of god in our heart and mind then discerning the origins of our dreams will not be a hard thing to do 
Listen, this morning, I, as I wake up in the morning, I know almost instantly if the dream I had at night is from God or making my own mind. I know this because of my work and relationship with God. I also know by what is happening in my life and ministry and what I am communing with God about each day and what He is eh, in turn saying to me. So that is how it is. And you have to understand that dreams or dreamer that dreams quickly need to react on each or a dream and must look for the for the meaning of the dream you must not look so reluctant you must not be sitting idle and never say that it is nothing every dream carries a message positively or negatively if something is coming to happen to you when you dream you have to know you need to ask God about it when you don't get a prophet or an, an interpreter to interpret your dreams you need to pray over it and ask God this evening wherever you are I pray for you in the name of Jesus that may the Lord make you understand your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ I pray and thank you God bless you is that a writer God bless you you see, we also have interpretation of dreams. The interpretation of dreams is that is to listen to the Holy Spirit. And listening to the Holy Spirit is the most important aspect of finding the honest interpretation of any dream that we have. Seeking the interpretation of dreams is only natural and right. So this is not divination. This is not divination. And not to be confused with such. We are not to seek dreams and interpretation as our ways of getting through life. But we, 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 we are to seek God and his word. We are not to seek dreams and interpretation as our way of getting through life. We are to seek God and His word. Let me tell you something. Anything that you dream of, anything that you dream of, anything that you see in your dream is a symbol and a token that you need to remember in your dream and when you come to the physical you may pray about it and ask God why before I will know that I have the calling upon my life in the year 2007 no 2006 I had this dream continuously three times I dreamt that I was walking in a typical village and by then there was a, a, a backpack a black backpack and inside the black backpack there was an anointing oil in the back and there was home in the back and as I started working through the village people started following me and those that followed me are not only just people but they are ailment people ailment people I mean people that are sick the cripple those, those that cannot walk and the moment they get close to me and they receive healing. I saw children sitting down at, at under a tree. I, I get there and they receive healing without not praying for them. I enter into one particular house where I saw old women, seven old women sitting down there 
and I prayed for them and it, it looks like they came back to their um, younger age and I had this dream 2006 and 2007 I also had a dream that someone is dead and I went and prayed for the person and the person received um, life by then I don't know God by then I was unbeliever I was in the world so later I became a Christian and I was I, I anointed as, as a reverend later a major prophet and apostle then the Lord started revealing those dreams that I've had previously so that shows that the anointing oil in my backpack the dream that I had 2006 was telling me that I'm a man of God so let me tell you sometimes you may see yourself in a dream that you are preaching you are going for a missionary you are in a church it means that you have something to do concerning the kingdom of God sometimes I do dream that I, 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 I have been um, I find myself on a big stage in 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 in, in USA having a program with um, Ben he I've had this dream like four times I've had a dream that I was having a big program in 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 Barbados with one great man of God but I don't know him I've had a dream that I was having a, a conference with um, one man, Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland, a conference. I said, wow, God. So this means that I'm a man of God and this dream has a meaning. But let me tell you, someone will ask, is it good to tell your dreams to everyone? Sometimes when you tell your dreams to people, the devil attacks you and will get to that place. So dream interpretation is not listed as a spiritual gift, but clearly a dream given by the Holy Spirit will be interpreted by the Holy Spirit. So the dream that Pharaoh received in Genesis chapter 40 were given by God and God gave Joseph the interpretation. The dream that King Nebuchadnezzar had in the book of Daniel was given by God. Do you understand? And we see that God gave Daniel the interpretation. We are to really, we are to rely on the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to confirm and interpret dreams and visions given to us by God. Believers, my name is Apostle Emmanuel Okai, and I encourage you to like and share this video. You to like and share this video. Invite friends to join, and let me see your comment as well. Praise the Lord. You see, so God will not give us dream to amuse us or to stop us relying upon him or his word. Except that God can and want to speak to you in dreams and visions. Believers, there are dreams that people know your dreams and they will they will harass your dreams they are dreams killers tonight if you are ready to harass any dream killer then you are ready to become a successful person in matthew chapter 20 matthew chapter 2 verse 12 says that now when jesus was born in bethlehem of judea in the days of king in the days of herod the king behold there came wise men from the east to jerusalem saying where is he 
that is born king of the Jews. For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. So when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And said to them, In Bethlehem of Judea, for that it is written by the prophet, and that Bethlehem in the land of Judah had not that least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, and quelled of them diligently what time the stars appeared, and he set them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Believers, believers, they are dream killers. They are dream killers. Let me tell you, the birth of Jesus Christ gave King Eros serious headache. Immediately, he sighted the star. He knows that a great personality has been born that will fight against his kingship. The glory of Jesus Christ would have been truncated by the enemy called Herod. It was three, it was the three wise men that failed to report back to him. Yet he was frustrated the most until he met death on his way. He tried all his possible best he could to stop the glory of Jesus Christ, yet he failed. Brethren, let me tell you, there are dream killers everywhere. There are dream killers everywhere. When Joseph shared his dream of greatness with his brothers, they immediately planned to kill his dream. Whenever somebody or something good is born, the devil assigns something to terminate, to terminate that life. When Moses was born, Pharaoh was all over town seeking for his life. Whether you like it or not, dream killers are around us. As I am giving this message, deep down my spirit, I am. I, I, I mean, when I was, I was, I was, I was preparing this sermon, I was deeply in tears for those who have lost their precious dreams. I am particularly worried about that man, that woman who has ignorantly sold out their destiny to dream killers. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Mistakenly, you have sold your dream to dream killer. I will restore everything back to you in the name of Jesus. Believers, they are dream killers. Hmm. Let me see that well. They are dream killers. Dream killers are those powers that stop destiny permanently. They are not only there to steal, to destroy any person who has God-given glory, and also to attack and to eliminate and execute you. Any attack from the dream killer can place you in a total radical. The power of dream killers are powers of oppression, no mercy. Do you hear me? The power of dream killers are powers of oppression, no mercy. Whatever they see in you that appears like a glorious star, immediately, they will find ways to destroy it. Joseph made a big mistake, a huge mistake, 
a gigantic mistake that attracted his enemies. His mistake was that he could not discern properly who to share his dream of greatness with. Let me ask you this question. Who do you share your, your, your dream to? Who do you share your dream of greatness with? With your mother, with your father, with your sister, with your daughters, with your sons, with your husband. Who do you trust? A lot of destinies has been destroyed. A lot of destinies, a lot of visions, visionaries has been killed because they share their visions and their dreams to the wrong people. Your business is not growing. There is no good goodness in your marriage. There is no happiness in your marriage. Who do you share the secret in your marriage with? Who do you share your good job, your good salary to someone? And the person has sabotaged you in, in the spiritual realms. The person has killed your dream. Your mouth chop chop everything you say, everything you speak, everything that dreams and visions you have, you'll be telling people, can't you shut your mouth? When you don't tell people your dreams, you'll be the greatest man or woman on earth. If you trust your pastor, fine. But if you don't trust your pastor and you don't trust anyone, keep your dreams. And communicate it to God. There are some people that must not hear of your dream. There are some people that must not hear of your visions and your ideas. If they hear them, you are in trouble. They will they will stop that dream in the astral world from being manifested that man demanding for sex before marriage he want to destroy your stars that business partner want to i mean have sex with you or that business partner want 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 to i mean i mean do something that is against god want to kill your dream sometimes we want marriage and we meet a man a man who has promised to be with you then all, all of a sudden you start spreading it to your people you start spreading it to your people and what really really makes me baffled and sometimes surprising that and i, I want to tell my girlfriend about the new man that i have had is your girlfriend your mother or your father Whereby you tell her your, your, your new boyfriend? Let me tell you. Do you know who is a dream killer in your life? You share the secret. Let me tell you. There was a lady that I delivered her. She came to me. And I said, the Lord revealed to me. I said, you woman. A man has come to marry you. Seven times different men. And any time they come, two weeks and they will leave. Do you know the reason why? You tell your mother about them. And all of a sudden, you will not hear from the men again. Your mother is your dream killer. She didn't believe. Until deliverance took place. And it was recorded on the video. After she came to her licenses, we showed it to her. This what happened until she believed that the mother was a dream killer in her life. Let's look at Esau, the firstborn, the first fruit, the first child that opened the womb of Rebecca. But Rebecca killed the dream of Esau. Can't a mother kill your dream? Can't a father kill your dream? Can't your son or your daughter kill your dream? You don't know. Believers, 
that person you are sharing your dreams with, with that proper discernment, it could be the one delaying your dream from manifesting faster. It is a serious problem. Listen, in this life, in this life, don't think every believer loves you. I, re I repeat myself again. Read my lips. In this life, don't think every believer loves you. Don't even think every believer has a good heart because you don't know their heart unless the Holy Spirit reveals to you. Some may be a good friend to the herbalist, to the vodou, to the occultic grandmaster. Some may have a tool of stopping you instantly. God has created many people with different mighty dreams. But today, the devil has converted it to the dust, to the dungeon, to the refuse dump, to the garbage. When you see a man who is rich yesterday, but today is begging, let me tell you, that means that someone has killed his dream. When you see a woman who is fertile before she got married to that man, only to get married, the doctor discovered that she has a fibroid. Know for sure that the dream killer has stopped her glory in that marriage. Brethren, everyone is a, is a suspect. Mm. Everyone is a suspect. If you are not led to share your dream with people, don't force yourself. Some people may laugh with you because you are making progress, but inwardly, they are serpent. Some might hate you because you are making progress faster than they are. Some might even hate you because you are too spiritual. Hence, they begin to organize evil thought against you. So, when they know that you are progressing, they kill your dreams. So, when they know that you are progressing, to kill your dreams. You will need to start praying. So when they know that you should be praying, they will deliberately come to occupy you with a discussion just to prevent you from praying. When they know you should be sleeping, they will be disturbing you with sex talk at the middle of the night. When they know you should be doing better things for yourself, they will come to distract you. So many people are dead spiritually because of these dream killers. It is very unfortunate that those who don't take good care of their spiritual life are the worst hit. It is possible that these powers would, I mean, incapitate you. We need to stop them. We need to stop them in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, your ministry is not growing. You tell everybody about how God is using you. You tell how God is, is making progress in your life. Your visions are blur. You have a blur vision in your ministry. Your vision to marry is not working. You are sick in the body. You have a kidney problem. You have a heart hole in the heart. You have an eye problem. All these things are caused by dream killers. Tonight, you need to harass them. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter how anointed you think you are. 
It doesn't matter how prayerful you are. Satan don't respect your prayers. <laughs> he knows what you say. He knows what you have dreamed of. But when you speak out, you tell people your dream, that is the end of your life. A lady called me and told me that, Papa, I want, I'm traveling to USA. I've, I have my five years visa. And I told her, shut your mouth up. You don't even need to tell me that you are, you've had your USA visa, so you are traveling. Get to the land of USA and occupy yourself before calling me. He said, wow, a woman of God telling me this. I said, yes, because you might not know who is monitoring you. There are monetary spirits that are working with dream killers that will kill your dreams. Look at your life. Look at your life. Your life cannot be defined because of dream killers. You tell your dreams to everyone. Brethren, you need to make a self-examination. Jesus Christ said that for I know the thought that I take towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. He went further to say, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before that cometh forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Believers, what have you done in the past that is hurting your future now? What have you aborted? Have you aborted babies? Have you used your mouth to lash out a person? Have you even talked down on someone? Are you threatening people? What is it, my dear? Have you lost your faith in tithing and sowing and giving? All these things and many more could attract dream killers to your life. Today is your hour of salvation. I know you want to reclaim your lost dreams. Ask God to have mercy on you. The only way you can recover everything that the enemy has stolen or destroyed in your life is by giving your life to Christ or through rededication. By total repentance of your sin, without that, your dream will still be in the den of dream killers. Kindly humble yourself by going down on your knees and pray. Make some acidic prayers that might expose and destroy instantly whatever that has your dream and destiny and every glory in the coven of witches. Do not let anyone disturb and distract you. Why pray? It is very important. Say, Heavenly Father, dream killers of my house, hindering my hands from prospering and my legs from moving forward. Your season has expired in my life. So therefore, lose your hold over my life completely in the name of Jesus Christ. Believers, we need to pray and overcome all these kind of dream killers because your, the power of your dream and your vision will make you fruitful. Product, a good production, a successful person, and it will reveal the purpose for God upon your life. Some people think that it's all about dreams that we don't understand. Yes, there are dreams that you don't understand. But if you don't understand that dream, you need to ask. Open your mouth and pray. 
Risha kada da bazuku do burike bru, rakata da bazike de be, risha kede de bazuku do bu. In the name of Jesus Christ, any dream killer in my life, risha kabra zuku do bu, risha kada da zada da ba, ruko bru lu zuku do bu. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, believer, let me tell you something. Hmm? Let me tell you something. The Bible says that in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6, Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up and the gift of God. Your dream is a gift of God. It is bigger than you are right now. It motivates you every day. It always in front of you. It gets you out of bed to do something meaningful in your life. Your dream gives you passion and enthusiasm. And let out your dream will help you get you through your dark times when even help heal your body. We all remember the story of Joseph. Joseph had a dream when he told his brothers they hated him all the more. He said to them, listening to this dream I had, notice they hated Joseph the most because of Joseph's dream. In his dream, Joseph saw his brothers and him binding shapes of green. Joseph's chef rose up and stood his brother's chef bowed down before the chef, meaning they will bow down to Joseph. People of today, because of pride, because of envy, they will hate you. Stop telling people your dream. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. No wonder they hated him. Because of his dream. What about you? What about you? Sometimes people are very close to you. Sometimes people are very close to you. Can't handle what God put inside you. They won't be happy about your dream. They will be jealous, critical, or even hate you. We don't want you to hate us or to feel hurt with us because of our dream we want you to be happy for us we should support one another's dream don't block your dream because you are jealous of someone living tears be happy for them be happy for them one day jacob sent joseph to check on his brothers who were keeping the sheep and they sold him out believers they sold him out what about you when you decide there is something great inside you everyone will hate you believers everyone will not be happy with you when you decide you will be in debt free, everyone will, be ex will not be excited about you. When you decide you are going to do something special with your life, people will hate you. When you have a dream, people will try to push it down. Are you going to get married again? You have already tried it three times and this bull will kill your dream not to marry again do kill your dream not to try anything that you feel some time ago do you think that you get the promotion you are not qualified to get your promotion do you believe god is going to heal you god doesn't heal today he didn't he didn't heal me you must remember people do not determine your destination People will kill your dream. Let me tell you. 
God does. Your critics cannot stop your dream. Let me tell you, the critics of people cannot stop your dream. They may throw you into a pit and cause you grief. They mean you are, but God will take it and use it for your good and cause your dream to come true. So, in Genesis chapter 15, verse 20, he said that they meant it for evil, but God used it for his own good. If you are going to live your dream, you must make it. You must make your mind up. Nothing will distract you. Delays will come. Maybe sickness and critical people will come. Critical people will come. People will hate you. Ask Jesus. When the enemy looks at you, he says, Here comes that dreamer. Let's kill it. A person wanting to wanting to live out what God put inside you is dangerous to the enemy. You are setting a new standard for your family. He will do everything he can to keep you from going to a higher level of living. Joseph brothers didn't kill him. Joseph instead they treat him into a pit and some Midianite merchant and slave traffic came and and they brought Joseph. Do you understand? What people are about to do in your life, dream killers will sell you out. They will sell you out. They will take your dreams. They will tell people about what you are about to do. The new thing that is about to happen in your life. Do you remember the first day you accept Jesus Christ? When you told your friend, she tells everyone. The new guy that is in your life. When you told your friend, she tells everyone. The new job you get. When you tell your friend, she tells everyone or he tells everyone your dream is your success your dream is your power power of dreams and visions is what god has given to us and we need to work on it believers i pray for you in the name of jesus christ Anyone that wants to destroy you, may the Lord destroy them in the name of Jesus Christ. And one of the greatest secrets of life is to discover for the purpose of why you were born. Keep your dream away from your enemies. Descend before you tell people your dream. Be a dream catcher for yourself not a dream spreader to people to destroy your destinies god bless you and god keep you amen if you have been touched with this message and you have had dreams visions that you don't understand quickly contact me on my facebook messenger or on the on this video there is my whatsapp number on this video description take the whatsapp number whatsapp me and let's talk about any dream that you've had some people have dream they are they are married in dreams and they are they are they have given birth in dream they they saw cobra they saw animals they see them in the sea you see them you see yourself in a beach you see yourself in i mean any kind of dream that you've had and you don't understand contact me on my whatsapp or my facebook messenger and i'll respond to you god bless you and god keep you may he give you the spirit of discernment and also understand dreams and visions and your life will be so fruitful and good for yourself god bless you and god keep you 
also if you want to support if you want to support the ministry if you want to support the ministry if you want to support me in my ministry you can contact me on my facebook messenger or my whatsapp and i'll give you my cash app if you're in america i'll give you my cash app if you're in different country you can download the remitly app or the word remit and i'll give you my information by contacting me on my facebook messenger or whatsapp and if you want to give any donation or if you want to sow a seed for you to be blessed if you are seeking something from god and want to sow a seed you can contact me and i'll give you my cash app information god bless you and god keep you see you tomorrow tomorrow we will continue with dreams and visions have a beautiful night the lord protect you may his angels appear to you may he make you have a good dream and may your dream manifest in the name of jesus christ may the holy spirit be heavy on you and interpret certain things and have the spirit of discernment in your life god bless you and god keep you peace shalom amen